The LHC needs a really high vacuum environment so the subatomic particles don't interact with matter. CERN's Advanced Predictive AI, a machine designed to keep its experiment safe, issued its first ever veto on a particle collision. In a linear accelerator, we accelerate the particles in a line rather than around a ring. And linear accelerators really help us to get the particles up to speed before we inject them into a ring. It warned of an outcome that defied all known physics. The AI revealed the signal wasn't an echo, but a targeted message from the other side. It was a warning and a weapon in one, the formula for a particle that breaks existence. The digital profit. It was supposed to be just another day at the office for the brightest minds on the planet. Deep underground, straddling the border of France and Switzerland, the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, was humming with unimaginable power. But on this day, something was different. Something was deeply, deeply wrong. You see, CERN doesn't just rely on human intellect. They employ one of the most sophisticated predictive artificial intelligences ever built, a system codenamed Prometheus. Its job is simple, run trillions of simulations to ensure every single experiment is safe. And for the first time in its operational history, Prometheus screamed a digital no. The plan was straightforward, or so they thought. During a specialized run, they were going to collide two previously unregistered particle signatures, ghostly remnants from a prior experiment that had no business still being in the beam line. But Prometheus flagged the event with a 99.9% .9 probability of a reality state violation. That's a term so terrifying it doesn't officially exist in any public physics textbook. It's the kind of warning you don't ignore. But they did. Driven by a hunger for a discovery that would rewrite the books, the team bypassed the AI's final desperate alerts. They believed it was a glitch, a miscalculation by the machine. Truth be told, they were dead wrong. As the countdown hit zero, they weren't just about to collide with two particles. They were about to knock on a door that should have remained locked forever. What they couldn't possibly know was that this experiment was being watched, not just by them, but by something else from a place that shouldn't exist a fog-shrouded, uncharted landmass in the South Pacific known only in top-secret documents as Phantom Isle, a place where compasses spin wildly and strange energy readings have been detected for decades. As the particles race toward each other at nearly the speed of light, an eerie calm fell over the control room. They were crossing a line, and deep down, they knew the AI's chilling prophecy was about to come true. The collision happened in less time than it takes to blink. For a heart-stopping 27 microseconds, every single detector inside the 17-mile ring went completely, utterly silent. The sheer volume of data, which usually flows like a raging river, dropped to zero. It was as if the universe itself was holding its breath. The engineers panicked, thinking it was a system-wide failure, a disastrous magnet quench like the one that nearly destroyed the facility back in 2008. But this wasn't a failure. This was something else. Then, just as suddenly as it began, the silence ended. But the data that flooded back wasn't the chaotic spray of subatomic debris they expected. No. Instead, a single, coherent data packet pulsed through the system. It was clean, structured, and impossibly elegant. And it was horrifying. Prometheus, the AI that had warned them, immediately began translating the packet, not as random particle data, but as a message. A waveform so complex and deliberate it couldn't possibly be natural. This wasn't a discovery, it was a reply. The machine had warned them not to knock on the door, and now something had answered from the other side. The message wasn't in English or math or any human language. It was a pattern, a sequence of energy spikes and decays that formed a perfect repeating geometric symbol when mapped in three dimensions. 
a symbol that according to one horrified analyst was identical to archaic carvings found on mysterious monoliths on the aforementioned Phantom Isle. The team had collided with two rogue particles and in return the universe had sent them a sign, a message that seemed to say, we see you. And the message itself contained a blueprint for a particle that according to our laws of physics simply should not exist. The horrifying message wasn't just a symbol, it was a recipe. The waveform described the decay of a particle that had, for a fleeting moment, popped into existence. When the physicists analyzed the signature, a cold dread washed over them. It corresponded to a mysterious energy spike they had seen before but quickly dismissed. A bump at approximately 28 giga electron volts, or GeV. This anomaly had first appeared back in 2018, a ghostly fingerprint that didn't match any known particle in the standard model. Back then, they called it a statistical fluctuation and buried the data. Case closed. But now it was back, and this time it came with a message. This wasn't just some new, exotic particle. Get this, its decay pattern appeared to violate one of the most sacred laws of the cosmos. Baryon number conservation. In simple terms, this law is the reason why matter doesn't just vanish into thin air. It ensures that the stuff that makes up you, me, and the entire universe is stable. But this particle, this thing born from the forbidden collision, didn't play by those rules. For a split second, matter had converted into something that wasn't matter or energy. It just ceased to exist. One senior physicist, speaking off the record, put it in the simplest, most chilling terms imaginable. That event broke the model. If this could happen once, physics itself had to be rewritten. But if it happened again, reality itself might be rewritten. The AI's warning wasn't about discovering a new particle. It was about creating one that could unravel the fabric of existence, one atom at a time. And here's the kicker. The energy readings from the event didn't just stay within CERN. Thousands of miles away, sensitive equipment on Phantom Isle, originally placed to study weird magnetic anomalies, surged with power for the exact 27 microseconds the LHC went silent. It was a resonance, a clear sign that the experiment hadn't just opened a door, but had rung a bell across the globe, waking something up. Now we have to talk about the doomsday scenario. This isn't science fiction, it's real unsettling theoretical physics that keeps scientists up at night. Some of the world's most respected physicists, including the late Stephen Hawking, have warned about it. It's called quantum vacuum decay. The idea is terrifyingly simple. Our universe might exist in a false vacuum. Think of it like a bubble that seems stable but isn't in its lowest possible energy state. It's like a ball resting in a small dip on the side of a huge mountain. It looks secure, but a hard enough push could send it rolling down to the bottom, releasing an enormous amount of energy. If a sufficiently powerful event, say an unnatural particle collision, were to poke our reality with enough force, it could trigger this collapse. A bubble of true vacuum would appear and expand at the speed of light, rewriting the fundamental laws of physics as it went. Inside this bubble, atoms as we know them might not exist. Stars, planets, life, everything would be erased and replaced by a new alien set of rules. It would be a cosmic reset button for the entire universe. CERN's hybrid collision experiments, the very kind that Prometheus warned against, create energy densities never before seen on Earth. What if that 28 GeV anomaly, that particle that shouldn't exist, wasn't just a particle? What if it was a momentary fluctuation in the fabric of reality itself? A tiny microscopic bubble of that true vacuum that winked into existence before collapsing? The AI's warning suddenly makes terrifying sense. It wasn't predicting a machine failure or a radiation leak. It was a warning that they were about to tamper with the fundamental stability of the cosmos. And the message they received? Maybe it wasn't a hello. 
Maybe it was a warning from another reality, one that had already suffered the consequences of this cosmic gamble. This isn't just about pushing boundaries anymore. It's about asking if we have the right to risk everything for the sake of curiosity. Because the evidence suggests that the next thing they might break isn't just space, but time itself. Shattering the Arrow of Time Imagine if time weren't a straight road, but a river with strange currents where some things could flow backward. That's exactly what other, less publicized experiments at CERN are hinting at, and it adds a whole new layer of weirdness to our story. At the LHCB detector, scientists have been studying something called CP violation. In simple terms, they found that certain particles don't behave the same way if you watch their decay forward in time versus backward in time. It's as if the universe has a preferred direction, a built-in arrow of control that says this way, not that way. This has been known for a while, but recent data from 2022 to 2024 has revealed new anomalies, new particles that are breaking this time symmetry in ways our current understanding of physics just can't explain. Now connect that to our forbidden collision. What if the particle it created didn't just violate the laws of matter, but also the laws of causality? If you can create a particle that decays in a way that messes with the flow of time, you could, in theory, create localized distortions. For a brief moment in the collision chamber, effect could come before cause. This isn't just an academic puzzle. If time itself can be warped, then our entire understanding of reality is fundamentally flawed. And the most disturbing part? Some researchers believe this is what CERN is now trying to do on purpose. The next phase of experiments might not be about finding new particles, but about deliberately creating these time-breaking conditions to study and maybe even harness them. The AI's warning may have been about more than just a dangerous particle. It could have been a warning against twisting the very fabric of causality. What happens when you start playing with the past, present, and future in a particle accelerator? That's a question that should terrify everyone, and it leads us to an even more secretive part of CERN's operations, a hunt for things that exist in the shadows between our world and another. What if I told you that some of the craziest experiments at CERN aren't even happening in the main ring? This is where the story goes from unbelievable to truly mind-bending. Meet Phaser, Modal Map, and Mathisla. These are three real, fully operational CERN programs designed to do one thing, hunt for particles from a hidden sector. They're looking for things that would pass through the main detectors and through solid rock, like a ghost. Let that sink in for a moment. The smartest people on Earth, with billions of dollars at their disposal, have built giant specialized machines designed to do one thing, hunt for particles from a hidden world they believe exists but have never, ever seen. This isn't side project stuff. This is a full-blown, state-of-the-art ghost hunt. Deep underground, an experiment named Phaser sits in a forgotten service tunnel positioned perfectly to act as a cosmic net, hoping to catch long-lived particles that would stream right through the main detectors and the Earth itself without a trace. Elsewhere, Moidal Map acts like a trap for magnetic monsters, searching for bizarre particles with only one magnetic pole that break our conventional understanding of electromagnetism. And then there's Methuselah, a detector so massive it's designed to sit on the surface, patiently watching for the faint decay of a particle that has traveled through hundreds of meters of solid rock from the collision point below. These aren't just experiments. They are tangible proof that physicists are looking for portals, tiny gateways to other dimensions. They're desperately searching for dark photons that could be the key to dark matter or actions that might be messengers from a parallel universe. So when the forbidden collision happened and the main detectors went completely silent, the real question is, what did these ghost hunting machines see? While the official report is non-existent, internal chatter tells a chilling story. 
Both Facer and the experimental resonance equipment on the mysterious Phantom Isle registered a simultaneous inexplicable pulse of low-energy neutrinos. It was a faint, ghostly whisper from the void, perfectly synchronized with the silence in the LHC. Was this the particle that had vanished? Did it not cease to exist but instead slip between dimensions, leaving only this faint echo behind? This is no longer just theory. When their own AI warns of a reality state violation, and then their most sensitive specialized machines detect a signal from nowhere, you have to ask, did they finally succeed? Did they accidentally punch a hole in our reality, and is the horrifying message they received a dire warning from whatever lives on the other side? The implications are staggering. Entire universes could be right next to ours, and we just kick the door open without knowing what we were doing. After an AI warns you not to run an experiment, and doing so creates a reality-bending particle and a horrifying message from a potential other dimension. What do you do? If you're CERN, you double down. You build a bigger, more powerful machine. So what did CERN really find? A simple data glitch, or a genuine glimpse behind the veil of reality. Drop your theory in the comments. Like and subscribe because the truth is stranger than you think.